dream! Oh, where child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working! If that fielding cat is a skulking bout, he's sure to give us an earful! Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a wasted. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Shifts, it seems we're hang of it now. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your workspace is in it. <laughs> That's right. My name's Rowan. This day is like we were destined to. I've been working. He calls me Chief. Oh, chief? <laughs> just ask him, Zone, better than. Hey, chief? <laughs> Did you just. Else? Pretty sharp or new about the rules. Who'd you hear it from? Hmm. Right. Came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you're. What happened to. to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually. But once you. When bad things happen. If you work continuously, production zones just work. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now would I? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me, and eager on the job. Chris couldn't hold it one time, but... He disappeared later, as some of his past said... What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Are you thinking? Huh? Oh? You? <sighs> Look, this ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> All right, if you. <laughs> It's gonna take her every. What would you. Right, we. Did this show up? Good. Assessing it. Let me up. Hmm. Right. Productive day. More progress tomorrow. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. Feels like we're getting. Is that a good, bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear! Time's a wasting. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sure! Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Well today, let's keep it up. Huh? 
everyone's head. Who that prize are you in? Grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe the super meal. What? What? What is? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. What kind of chef would make food like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that was talking about? No, stop right there, Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it! Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? Just ask him Numbers for today. to you... To me? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal and shout out. I'm not very good at remembering people's appearances. Anyway, no one comes to mind based on your description. Sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Are you sure they're an inmate here? That's anywhere near as strong as what you're describing. Believe me, I'd know if there was. Well, have you gotten used to prison life yet? Shh. Save the questions for now. I don't like to give away information for no reason, you know. Two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, 
I couldn't help but think of his grace once I saw you, and I... Uh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? The Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key verity, the meaning of rebirth, not just earning credit coupons. Hello, Traveler, Paimon. Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patience to look after. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting. Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait! Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse! <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body, and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work, and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder! I was injured a bit just now. Nothing made. I think I just pulled something. Little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siege when you need her anyway? 
The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch, and nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegewing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn credit coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paima likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, nope, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you, so credit coupons aren't to reply. People to talk with. That's so nice, coupons, then. Looks like the infirmary is pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. Knowing child, he must have been there all the time.
Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, man. Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? What? I... <sighs> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? <sighs> you're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. <sighs> Might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a cusp here, is both. Something bad will happen the next morning. So, the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. But if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembered he was someone who, in his eyes, in itself. Oh, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. 
Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Huh? We will? You're not serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it! But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the Pancration Ring! Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Huh? F for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... going to lose coupons. All right then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. Uh, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? Ah, Paimon's not going.
quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? All right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers! Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? for us. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. There's no way to send it all out. Then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not! <laughs> of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico. And I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules.
I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm, yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Paimon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. Uh, anyway... You try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? <laughs> After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. 
kick back and relax once in a while. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Huh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so... many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. 